Well, I don't personally, I don't think that uh, the rise of the AfD at the recent regional elections in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern really means the end of uh, the reign of Angela Merkel in Germany. What I think is that the rise of AfD, which is, of course is a serious uh, phenomenon and something that will last in German politics, will just make party politics and coalition building in Germany a little bit more complicated. We have already five parties in Parliament, we will have a sixth one, which can take a considerable part of the electorate in some areas of Germany. And then building a stable government coalition just will become a little bit more complicated. Uh, I don't think that the rise of AfD is only due to the so-called refugee crisis of the last year. Definitely that has been a factor that has been given an additional dynamic to the rise of AfD. But AfD is a bit older phenomenon and its roots and its first appearance is linked to the Euro crisis and the financial crisis. It has been at its beginning some, being something like a middle class protest party against the Euro rescue, rescue politics of the European Union and the German government. It has been led by university academics, by trained economists. It, there are figures which come from the very heart of the German political elite, like the former head of the German uh, Industrial Association, Mr. Henkel. So it's not a classical protest party of people who feel left out. It's something that comes right out of the middle class of Germany. Uh, there are people who think that the Europe, EU integration policy, the Euro policy are not in the best interest of Germany and these are people that are similar to those that have decades ago in other countries like in Denmark created right-wing populist parties. It's tax protest, it's protest against a political system that is seen as being wasting resources of the country and not being efficient. That's part of the roots of AfD and in that sense it's just a normal development in the German political party system. Germany becomes a country like its neighboring countries. We may not forget that we have strong right-wing so-called populist parties in almost all of our neighboring countries, at least those who are similar in social economic development to Germany, like Denmark, like the Netherlands, like Austria, like Switzerland, and of course like France, this will Front National. So I think it's just a process of normalization. And because it is a process of normalization, we should reckon that AfD is something which will stay in the political landscape of Germany. That's not a party that's going to disappear quickly. There is demand for that kind of politics in the German society and this demand is expressed by this new party. And uh, so in this sense it's a third wave of, uh, for the third time that the German political party system changes. We have seen changes in the 70s with the rise of the Greens. We have seen changes uh, in the 2000s when the Linke came into parliament expressing some social unease with the reform politics of the recurring government. And now we have a third wave and the party system changes again. But that's how it is in democracy. Uh, this what party systems are meant for, to change and to adapt to what society wishes to have expressed in the political system. It's not more and not less than that.